Francis Lake grew up in the city of St. Louis in a very, very large family. I think he had uh, 13 uh, siblings. He grew up in a very modest, um, middle-class uh, neighborhood in the southwest part of the city in what's known as the 23rd Ward. His father was a politician also a restaurateur. So he grew up in politics. In 1995, he ran for president of the Board of Aldermen against, I think, five other aldermen, and he got more votes than all the rest of them combined, became president of the board. In 2001, he ran for mayor and beat the incumbent mayor and the former mayor. So he beat two mayors and, again, had more votes than both of them combined. Under Mayor Slay, there's been $16 billion in economic development, and that's big projects like City Arch River and more modest uh, economic development projects like the rebirth of these buildings for the Chess Hall of Fame and the Chess Club. But he also did a lot for people. Education was one of his top priorities. He created a process and opened more than 20 charter schools to give parents in the city whose kids were either trapped in bad schools or who would be forced to move out of the city to get a good public education, to give them a choice and stay in the city of St. Louis. I think he's been uh, very courageous. He's been quite a leader. He's faced some very difficult challenges over the years. He's had problems with fire departments, uh, with unions, and he took them all on. He always emerged victorious. The city is better off. And, you know, I think everybody admires his, his leadership, his forthrightness, his honesty. Being mayor was never about him. It wasn't about his interests or what was important to him. It was what is good for the city. So when Rex and Jeannie talked about chess as a way to engage our children more, to give them more to do after school, to give them something to do that will engage their minds, to give them something that they can be proud of if, if they're not an athlete, if they're not a football player, a baseball player, that appealed to him well. Mayor Slay was very quickly supportive. He told me some years ago, he says, any chess event you have, I will show up for which I thought was remarkable dedication. But he was well in tune with what our purpose was, with our effort in getting it in front of kids and getting into schools. And he was, of course, very supportive of that. The idea that part of our brand was going to be that we were the chess capital of the United States and one of the most important places in the world for the game of chess, something you know that attracts people who are cerebral, people who are strategic, people who are college educated was something that was very appealing to him and, and he got it right away, embraced it and uh, you know gladly did so. The mayor was in the chess club here uh, a year or two back and uh, I said, let's sit down and play a game. I made a move and he said, I'm not sure what to do. So I made a move for him and then I made another move for myself. And then somebody standing behind him said, move the knight. And the mayor said, which one's the knight? <laughs> I bust out laughing, nearly fell off my chair. Mayor Slay, uh, you uh, not only are the longest serving mayor in our city's history, uh, but you are going to go down in history as the best mayor our city has ever had. Our city has been fortunate that you have been willing to make the commitment and the sacrifice to be our mayor for so long. You will be sorely missed and your legacy will be something that uh, many generations from now people will still be talking about. So good luck in the next phase of your life and we're going to miss you as our mayor. Mayor Slay, I would say thank you very much for your friendship and your leadership. Uh, you've meant a lot to me personally. You've done a lot for all the things that I am trying to do. You've been a, a big help in all of those efforts. And the city is going to miss you, and I'm going to miss you. And the only thing you have left to do is to learn how to play chess. Thank you.